Good evening. This is March 4th, 2013. I've made some changes to my Elm stove in the living room. Uh, the first one is the primary air change and basically I have two box beams on the floor of the stove which bring air all the way through to various parts of the, the logs and the coals. The second change has to do with the baffle which is the plate up near the top of the stove and this one is actually two layers of stainless with a, a cavity between one inch space between which contains very hot preheated air and holes in the bottom of it, holes along the front edge of it and uh, in just a second here once I get the flames built up the primary air is all the way open I'm going to do what I call a slam on the brakes closing the primary completely and we're going to watch the effect I get down low and look up to see all the secondary flames coming down from the baffle I call it an air baffle this is oh the second or third time I've tried this first time I've tried it in this particular stove I have an external chimney which is cold and probably not as tall as I would like it to be it's a beautiful brick chimney can't can't even think about changing it because it's so beautiful but from the laws of physics it needs to be a little bit taller some days especially when the barometer goes down you get any storm activity raining or anything but the primary air is completely closed there's some primary flame activity but definitely I'll change the angle here slightly and look up at the the air baffle most of the flames that you are seeing now are as a result of the preheated air coming down from the air baffle and meeting with the unburned gases from the logs So I think this is fairly successful and the reason for the, uh, the, the changes in both of the air setups um, traditionally the elm burns from front to back what you would call a cigar burn the front edge of the logs burns and as the hours pass the flames work their way toward the back of the stove Another change that I made today was to change the gasket where the door meets the front ring so that I can successfully turn down the air supply and expect a longer fire. Some people have problems getting stoves to burn through the night and the greatest problem is normally that the stove has lost its airtight quality and the easiest way to to rectify that is to change those gaskets. Thank you for watching.